Hey everyone, once bitten here with the battle report. So I brought up my Kingdom of Equitain army again. I've tweaked my list since the last tournament. I just want to play around with some different knight units. Um, I'm brand new to Kingdom of Equitain in its current version. Obviously, I played Bretonia for years and Warhammer uh, back when that was a thing. Uh, so I wanted to try out Knights Aspirant and Questy Knights and just see how I liked them. And then I, after after a couple games of this, I tweaked my list again and tried out a couple more things. So I'm facing a Warriors of the Dark Gods army. Uh, the, the guy, I'm going to post a link to his battle report. He does uh, YouTube reports as well. He calls this, especially the, the unit around which this army is built, is called the Pain Train. We've played before, and he actually won that game. I took pictures of it and just didn't feel like making a report. At least I don't think I made a report. I may have. I don't know. I went through a phase recently where I wasn't doing any non-tournament reports. So his list, he's got, the list is in the description, but he's got some fast cav uh, barbarian horsemen. Then he's got the pain train back there, which is, what is that? Um, three, four, five crusher knights and a battle standard bear and a chaos lord. That that unit is nasty. And really, those crusher knights are mostly just a, a character delivery system because he doesn't care too much. Um, he doesn't need them for that unit to do what it does. His characters are plenty brutal. Uh, that is definitely a battleship right there. And he's got a blood beast. And I uh, was really happy, excited to see this. See, um, I don't think we've ever played one against one before. Got a unit of warriors uh, with the Mark of Lust, and he's got two level twos, Path of Lust in there. Then over here, let's see in the top right of this picture, he's got some Once Chosen, then some Fallen, some bar more Barbarian Horsemen, and then some Hell Riders. On the far right, I've got a unit of Knights of the Quest. I only own nine of these things, so I had to proxy in a few other models for it. I've got 12 Knights of the Realm, I've got a couple Trebuchets back there, I've got eight Grail Knights with my level four. She's a general. And, uh, uh, level 4 Path of White Magic. Then I've got n more Knights of the Realm, and then I have a Battle Standard Bear in with them. Now, he can go with the Grail Knights. I just decided that instead of having... When he's with the Grail Knights, that unit is just insanely good. <clears throat> I thought it, uh, they didn't necessarily need the help, and if I put him in with the new Knights of the Realm, it would uh, you know, give me a, a much better tool with them. I'm trying 12 Knights Aspirant, put them in 6x2, just take advantage of their extra attack on the charge. And then on the far left, we've got a unit of 5 Knights Aspirant. This unit uh, is being proxied by my opponent's models. I think there's some, some uh, Beast Herds, Senegors, um, or Centaurs. Uh, I guess I left models at home. So, he won the roll to go first. I think he deployed first, and that's how he got it. He moves up like that. Very, very aggressive with his Barbarian's on the uh, right and um yeah anyway i was gonna say i think it's kind of a mistake cause he's kind of throwing throwing them away because he's we're far enough away from each other i'm not sure that he needs to um to block me up right now uh, but then when i i did charge him on my turn he fled and normally i would think if he fled then he would be landing right in front of his his unit and and block block you know provide be able to chaff for me uh didn't quite work out that way though all right nothing happened in the magic phase he doesn't have any shooting we go to the kingdom of equitain turn one um one i i, I charged his barbarian horseman and he fled <clears throat> and he must have rolled just insanely high to flee and hit through his unit or i must have charged him with a second unit and i don't know why i would have done that I just don't remember because normally if I if if he doesn't break through his unit, push through his unit, then it's he's uh you know he's he's blocking him. I don't know, don't remember. I threw the knight's aspirant into this guy, so I was thinking of using my five man knight's aspirant unit just to march around and get in front of him. I couldn't get like one inch away from him or anything, but I could still keep him from charging this unit uh, pretty easily, I think, and um, just wait for a better charge. But uh, it's a friendly game, and a lot of times my friendly games, I just want to see what happens. So I threw him in there like, what's going to happen here? And what happened was, I did two wounds to him, he does three wounds to, to me. Uh, so uh, I win combat by, I don't know, one or two, I think two. And he sticks. So now he's easily going to get a counter charge. And uh, that works for me. The only 
thing I'm really worried about is if he breaks from combat and doesn't catch me and I land in front of my own guys. If anything else happens, the, it'll set up a counter, multiple counter charges by me, and I think that would be worth it. All right, we go to Warriors of the Dark Gods turn two. If at the very top middle, his his uh, pain train doesn't want to deal with my fast cav, they just back up. His barbarian horsemen, if you look at the top right, they rallied and moved back around to try to redirect. He brings his warriors, wasteland warriors, into my knight's aspirant, and it looks like that. So. Yeah, I've got no illusions here, folks. <laughs> These guys are going to get, they're going to get mauled. Hopefully I'll get away and do so in, in a way that doesn't block my troops. And I don't get away, but his blood beast ran like, just, I want to say like 12. <clears throat> um, yeah, just brutal. So we go to my turn. Now the problem here is that my Grail Knights can't see his blood beast. My BSB's unit can see them see him and I think I might be okay like I might be able to wheel and touch him but I'm guessing at the time of the game we thought we I couldn't and because <clears throat> that would just be kind of nice but what I do instead is I take my BSB's unit and I charge his wasteland warriors and he flees and I actually wasn't expecting that uh, so then I redirect into the pain train now, at the time, my fast cav were directly in front of him, so I could connect, but I'd just barely be touching corner to corner. His general is not there. I think his battle standard bearer is. So in that fight, it'd be his BSB and one Crusher Knight, and then I would get one file, one of which being my BSB, and I thought I could probably have a decent chance of, of uh, beating him through combat res. <clears throat> in hindsight, I think... Well, I don't know. It's tough to say what would happen because his his uh his general could issue a challenge, so he would would get to fight, and I would, and I don't think I have a champion in this unit, so I'd have to accept my BSB, and that really could go either way. I mean, I I I think he probably wins that, and then he still has all the other attacks. So anyway, it might be a good thing that happened. I redirected to his general's unit, and then I failed the charge. I was miffed about it at the time, but in hindsight, I think that's probably the best thing that could have happened to me. On the far left, my five knights aspirant charge. Five Barbarian Horsemen going into it. I think I'm just going to crush these guys, but he does have flails. Uh, on the top, my um, Knights of the Quest charge his Barbarian Horsemen, and he, he stays this time. And I I don't know why, because I don't know what he was worried about. I think I charged them first, and he didn't want me to get a combo charge, maybe, with this unit and my BSB's unit. I don't know. Um, but anyway, he stays there. We go to, now, on the first turn shooting, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but he's, he was missing a knight. So I hit this with um, one or two rocks in the first turn, and I was, I was able to, to kill one Crusher Knight. Yeah, anyway, I was able to kill a Crusher Knight. And uh, so on this turn, now he only has uh, three rank and file. Yeah, he's lost, yeah. Anyway, he only had four rank and file, so I aimed a rock on his general's head, and hit him, wounded him, killed him splat. So now he has four rank and file and a BSB. And this unit better get into combat soon because now I'm targeting the BSB in my next turns. <laughs> without characters, I mean, it's always going to be a tough unit, but without characters, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, not nearly as afraid of this unit. On the far left, yeah, his uh, barbarian horseman killed three of my knights errant. Um, I don't know how many wounds I did to him, but I won, and he broke. So, got those points. Uh, of course, the Question Knights kill the Fast Cav, and they just turn. He looks like it killed one of them. Anyway, then we go to Waste the Warriors turn three. So he rallies his his, his warrior unit. He uh, reforms his general, his what used to be his general's unit, his pain train. Uh, he decides to take get rid of my Fast Cav with his Fallen. And he's got this big monstrous charge down here. So this, my BSP's unit had failed their charge. I knew that Fluffy, I'm calling him Fluffy, was going to be able to charge me. The uh, the once chosen made a big, a long ball charge. I don't know what they needed, but I think it was pretty high because it looked like they were pretty far away. And uh, that just really hurts. I mean, he's going to win. I'm going to be steadfast. I think I'm going to stick. That's not the problem. The problem is I have no way of winning the War of Attrition against him. Until my opponent charged his Hell Riders in, and I, t I told him afterwards too, I was like, that was a huge mistake because the Hell Riders aren't going to contribute 
anything to that combat. And now they've allowed another one of my knight units to charge them and and help contribute um, to winning that combat and then be in a position to countercharge the other things. I think that was a huge mistake. He agreed with me later as well. That was just a huge mistake. There's that. After combat, yeah, he. I don't think he did as many wounds as he should have, but I don't think it really matters. Regardless, I was going to be steadfast. And I was, and I stuck, and I reformed in a way that kept everybody who was in combat still in combat. And now he's not in my flank, and now I can counter charge with one of my other units. Over here is Fallen, easily kill four of my fast cav. Uh, they're not able to catch them, and now they're set up for counter charge, which is kind of nice. And overall, it looks like that. So a couple things going on here. There's a little bit of crisscrossing. Um, but the Grail Knights, in a, they charge the Hell Riders. My BSBs, or not my BSBs unit, but this other Knight of the Realm unit charges the Fall. I'm not worried about that. And then I use my Questing Knights as a very, very, very expensive Chaff unit. Um, my thinking there, though, is now I don't have to pursue the fall. I hopefully I'll kill these fallen, but if, but regardless, I'm going to win combat. I'm sure they're going to break. Then I'm going to reform. So if he charges my questing knights, he better hope. Actually, it almost doesn't matter. If I stick against him, then he's going to get countercharged. And if I break against him, he's still going to get countercharged, but probably in the rear. So I don't. I think even though I, he should win against the questing knights, it's not necessarily that desirable of a charge for my opponent. After combat. Yeah, if you look at my 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 uh my BSB's unit, they just don't have that many wounds. I mean the, the Grail Knights went in and killed all the Hell Riders, so I don't get a lot of that combat res, but I did get a bunch of wounds. He just kind of fluffed on his wounds. As a matter of fact, if you see that green token, that means that during the magic phase I put a token there and never felt the need to use it. Uh I think I I was saving it for my BSB in case he was picking on him. Anyway, yeah, then we just Broke the angle was such they had to run away from my my Grail Knights that his uh, Blood Beast fled directly off the table. So I just let him go, figuring he'd probably run off. And then I caught the um, Once Chosen. And reformed the Grail Knights, and overall it looks like that. So not an ideal position for the what used to be the Pain Train. So we go to Warriors of the Dark Gods, turn four. And if we're being honest, this was my suggestion. Uh, I, I told him, I was like, you're not, you can't do anything and not get countercharged by me. Why don't you just charge your BSB out into this unit? And and I, I think I think he holds his own very very nicely. So he agreed. That's what he did. There's that. And I think this is after combat. It doesn't really show it. He basically does three wounds to me. And we all stick. I was thinking that oh, I just need him to fluff a little bit and I can win through combat res. But, you know, he's like, what is it, four attacks. He's got the plus one strength thing going on. Uh, he's hitting on twos, wounding on twos. And then, I, you know, I only have so many saves. And then, of course, he's got his, his crusher he's riding on. So after that, the, um, the crusher knights couldn't charge anyone else. So they just backed up, as you can see. And we go to King of Ectrain turn four. So... I um what I was going to do at first was charge my questy knights and my grail knights into his um into his crusher knights and then I decided I just wanted to I mean my opponents had some bad luck this game with this general dying and stuff like that so I was like you know why don't we make it a little more interesting I think my grail knights can handle the crusher knights and I want to see what the Questy Knights do against his warriors. I it's I don't think it's a good matchup, but people say that that uh, Questy Knights are made for grinding. So let's see if they have any chance at all at grinding. Now, it's not you know it also as long as I don't break on this turn, it keeps him from countercharging one of my other units. Uh, so it is doing some things there. And as long as he doesn't break this turn or next, break me on this turn or next and overrun far enough to charge my BSB's unit, then I'll countercharge my BSB. When I'm looking at this, this picture now, I'm thinking that my BSB's unit is way too close. It looks like it's it doesn't take an insanely high roll for him to catch me. There's really no reason for them to be that close. And after combat, 
it looks like that. It looks like he killed three of my knights. It looks like I killed just a few of his. And yeah, I don't know how well we grind against that. I don't, I don't think anybody expected him to do that well. Uh, over here, this time he only kills two of my guys. I don't think I'm doing any wounds on him. I, maybe I am, and I just don't remember it. Um, but I've got a banner and a rank. He has two wounds and a banner. I think he's winning. I'm steadfast. Uh, the Grail Knights do well. They, um, the only way they could have done better if they, they actually would have caught these guys. That way, in my next turn, I could have reformed and brought them back. Uh, I forgot to take pictures of my opponent's turn, but basically on his turn, he does beat the the Questing Knights, beats them handily. I mean, I think he had like one guy left, and he broke me. I was really hoping that he would he would just kill them all, like kill them all, or I need to stick, and it was neither. Uh, so he's able to pursue, and he ran right into my BSB's unit, which was just sloppy play on my part, uh, having him that close. And my BSB is great when he charges in, but, you know, otherwise he's not really that strong. Meanwhile, over here, this BSB is just, just eating away at this unit. I think I've done two wounds to him. I'm looking at that, that die up there. Um, but he's doing a lot more wounds to me. I'm steadfast one last time and stick. So we go to Kingdom of Equitane, turn 5. Grail Knights charge the Crusher Knights again. Everything else is kind of already locked in combat. Afterwards, his BSB eats the rest of my Knight unit. Um, my Grail Knights easily beat the Crusher unit, and I think he fled off the board and I just reformed it. I knew he, he was close enough to the board edge. And my BSB's unit stuck, but it's not going to matter because now his BSB charges in and makes very short work. He's gotten a challenge, his BSB and my BSB, and that was not a contest. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like that. This is go to the King of Ectrain's last turn. Grail Knights make a heroic charge down the hill all the way across the battlefield into these guys and crush them and overrun, and the game ends like this. I want you to appreciate the only things alive that are not in this picture are two Knights Aspirant from my five-man unit. So I've got points for a five-man knight's aspirant unit, a grail knight unit, and my general slash level four, and my opponent has a BSB. <laughs> That's a game, my friend. <laughs> That's That was so much fun. That was awesome. I'm going to do a video pretty soon talking about how I approach different games, different kinds of games that I play. This is definitely one of those games that is like, let's just throw stuff down and get into fights and throw dice and have fun with it. And... um that's what this was, man. That was a lot of fun. Here. Thank you, you so much it. for watching the video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. As you know, YouTube has a variety of functions you can use to interact with videos such as this. You can like or comment on the video. You can favorite it. You can share it. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel. And I encourage you to do any or all of those things as uh, a way of interacting between viewer and producer. Uh, as always, I'm, I appreciate your patronage on the channel and wish you all the best.